The changes to the juvenile justice laws, which take effect this Friday, have sparked a bit of controversy. Although the law is already passed, there are still concerns about the impact that it'll have on young people who commit crimes. WNER 2 News' Janae Wright is hearing from both sides of this issue tonight, and she joins us in the studio with the latest. Janae? Kelly, it's important to understand why this new law has some opposition. People who support it simply want accountability from the Department of Juvenile Services and young people who commit crimes. Now, those who are against the new law are worried its practices will have negative impacts on young people rather than helping them do better. Lawmakers approved House Bill 814 in the spring, but despite that, not everyone is welcoming the new law with open arms. While I understand why the police and elected officials and our prosecutors think this is a quick fix, it's not going to change materially the kinds of decisions or fear that young people live with on their own and why they make some bad choices sometimes. Kelly Quinn, managing director of the Choice Program at UMBC, says certain language in the law, like charging 10 to 12 year olds with a crime, can be traumatizing and may not influence better behavior down the line. But state's attorney Ivan Bates says not holding children accountable for crimes they commit, even at a young age, can be detrimental and doesn't protect the public from repeat youthful offenders. The data and information says to discipline young people must be swift and certain consequences. This bill does one thing that's super important. It it now makes sure that swiftly we can get these cases into court. Another part of the new law that causes concern is the expansion of the probation period for minors. Now, instead of six months period of probation, it'll be a year period of probation. It could be technically extended. That's important because now the young person can get in the program they need to be rehabilitated. This bill is about rehabilitation. Quinn agrees having more time for those rehabilitation services is a good thing for children. But she says a long probation period can do harm as well. That also means any mistake that young people make, including missing appointments with their probation officers, could result in them getting violated and going into commitment or into detention. She says this is just one example of challenges for children who end up in the juvenile justice system. She says what most children really need is support from the community, which she says is a positive point within the new law. They're kids and they want to learn and they need to learn some life skills. And so you need a team of people like us in choice or an organization like we, our, us to really wrap their arms around them and try and be supportive and help young people make better choices. And the state's attorney agrees, but he says the method in which the children are getting support has to ensure change behavior. He says how the new law is written accounts for that. That's not about mass incarceration. This bill is not about locking up young people, but what it's about is accountability within the system, but also finding accountability for young people. And the new law also changes a lot of operations within DJS. Ivan Bates says the new law creates more accountability for the department as well. So children who commit violent crimes don't end up right back in the community without any account accountability. And you can find team coverage of the new state law on our website. Kelly.